Welcome back. Now, the Coalition of Legal Education in Ghana says the writing of entrance examination as a uh, prerequisite for admission into the Ghana School of Law will lead to the disqualification of suitable LLB candidates, uh, which is discriminatory. This follows a call for applications uh, from suitably qualified persons into the professional law course by the Independent Examinations Committee of the Ghana Legal Council for the 2019-2020 academic year. The entrance examination is scheduled to take place on Friday 26th of July. According to the coalition, the action by the two uh, bodies who regulate a legal education in the country is unlawful and a disregard for the Supreme Court's judgment that declared the examinations unconstitutional. Right, so I'm joined in the studio by the convener of the Coalition for uh, Reform of Legal Education in Ghana, uh, Ken A.J. Crunchy. Uh, Mr. Crunchy, nice to see you. Nice to see you. How is it, sir? Have you asked Great. So I, I, I can imagine that uh, those who are seeking to go to law, uh, professional, vocational training after doing an LLB uh, should be able to do so without any prerequisite. In other jurisdictions, uh, there are no such prerequisites. Well, thank you very much. Uh, let me say good, good evening to your, to your viewers. The first thing, the first comment I wish to make is that if you listen to the Honorable Chief Justice when she was being vetted, she made the point that when she was she finished LLB and had to undergo the professional, the vocational aspect of the law. It was virtually seamless. It was seamless. It's like it's like a cog in an engine with oil. Mm -hmm. bah, you are there. You are there. Yes. Now she is now the chief justice, and, and we, she's not making it seamless. <laughs> yeah, it's not making it seamless. You see, we want it to be seamless. In fact, I am not personally affected because I had my I suffered through that mm -hmm. a couple of years mm -hmm. ago. But the young ones coming up ought to be given less stress. In, in so so I, I need to have an understanding. In your estimation, uh, is it bad for the entrance exam to be in place? Uh, that is, does it, does it act, act as any negative impediment is, is, on the is, way uh, of is, the team? It is, it is absolutely the, bad. Mm. The first point is that virtually all across the world, if you have the LLB, you are qualified to undertake the professional and vocational mm. aspect of the law. The LLB is contrary to Article 17 of the 1992 Constitution. It disqualifies people. Mm. Definitely, once there's an exam, you have your LLB, but you, some people will be disqualified. Mm. In our case, for instance, we had over 1,600, and only about 700 people got into the professional aspect of the law. So that needs to be looked at. The second aspect of, of our worry is that if we look at the, cumulat the cumulative material that people have to wait through before they can undertake, be qualified, be As prepared. As vocational lawyers. No, no, be prepared to, be prepared, to yeah, undertake right. the exams. The, and the exams. It's, it's voluminous. It's, it's astronomical. It's too much. It's too much. You are talking and about... It doesn't surprise you that many people fail. That is not surprising. It's not surprising. The, the third aspect is that if you look at the content of the advertisement that they put out there, and the format of the examination, they are going to set uh, 20 objective questions out of 10 major law courses. And then they are going to require these candidates to write two essay questions out of 10 major law courses. That is a big area. That's a big That's deal. a vast area, vast area. You see, we think it's even contrary to Article 15 of the 19th mm -hmm. because as far as we are concerned, it is statistic. And then they are saying that they should bring police reports. Mm. You have concerns with this police report. Uh, you cite LI 2355, uh, which is the professional law yes, act. Yes, it's not captured. You see, and that is my worry with the General Legal Council and the Independent Examination Board. When the Supreme Court of this country, on several occasions, in cases like Awuni versus Wyke, Professor Stephen Koku Asari versus the General Legal Council said that when there is a process, there is a law for the doing of a thing, you must go by the law. Mm -hmm. At that time, it was, it was LI 1296, so LI, uh, LI 2355. So go by the law. If you go beyond the law, it gives opportunity for people to just, it's a, it's a slim, 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 whatever. Mm -hmm. I can just walk mm -hmm. to the Supreme Court and say that that police report thing is just unconstitutional because it is not. It is mm -hmm. not constitutional. You are not going by the law as we have the law as it is today. So really, 
uh, it's a problem. It's a problem. I can imagine mm -hmm. that. So what, what, what legal remedies are available? I mean, under the circumstance, I mean, we can scream, we can shout, but if the uh, legal counsel doesn't see uh, the need to scrap well, these examinations, <coughs> first they, on, first they will still be in First place. and foremost, I'm already in court with them. Okay. I'm already in court with them. But I think that this particular case gives us a basis to go in there, for instance, and ask for an injunction, a restraining order, something to stop them from proceeding. Because clearly, the tangent on which they are moving is an illegal tangent. On, they, they ought to be stopped. The case is quite clear. They ought to be stopped. And then, of course, talking about lawful remedies, you can talk about demonstrations. You can talk about, I, I, for instance, in our statement that we issued, we are advocating that every single person who is affected, who is downstream, mm -hmm. and should, they should be calling their members of parliament. Yeah and making the case why they should ask for some scrutiny into that particular advertisement that, that came out. Everybody should. And we are also calling upon civil society. And, and, and we live in this country, and I'm shocked at the silence of our religious leaders, our politicians, because people's rights have been abused. I have mm -hmm. seen the living, bleeding bodies. Okay, I've seen the victims of this process. Some of them were my classmates at the, the LLB level. Some of them are at my classmates. And they're still not uh, vocational lawyers. They're still struggling because they haven't passed exams. Let me, let me tell you, when we set out to write the LLB, we were about 1,600 people. Only 64 of them became lawyers at first attempt. Oh. That is about 3%. That's serious. Nobody can. Harvard, 2017, Harvard had a 97% pass rate. Everybody. So what is happening with legal education in this country? You think it's calculated it to is, stifle it, I think that the growth some people, of uh, the legal profession? Some people don't want some people to become members of the profession. And it is affecting everybody. If you go to our courts, our courts are locked up, seized up with cases. Because we have no judges, we are no trained lawyers as lay judges, and we don't have enough lawyers to assist these trained judges. And still, there are so many impediments. So on many the ways impediments. Of those who desire. There, there are to too many people in prison who ought not to be in prison because they do not get proper adequate mm, counsel. That's true. Get accessing legal services very expensive in this country. When we live here, and I'm unfortunate, I go and knock somebody down with my car, and a lawyer has to come and rescue me. To apply for bail, I have to pay 5,000 Ghana cities. That is the approved. But association. And if you don't have? If I, uh, no, 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 do I have? <laughs> oh, you <laughs> do have. I, do, I don't have. I, know I don't have. Mm -hmm. I don't have. On a, on a journalist salary, mm -hmm. I don't have. You see, if I can't afford to counsel, how many people in this country do you think can afford I counsel? I can understand. I can, can grant you. We're grateful for your time. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, for coming. I'm Stephen